Welcome back to Torpy Eyes. In today's video, we'll be unboxing, assembling, and disassembling the Twister T6 trimmer and leaf collector. I got the Twister T6 trimmer from Trim Leaf. They're an online one stop shop for cultivating and extraction equipment at an affordable price, giving great customer service with fast, knowledgeable replies to any questions you might have. And they also offer price matching. I'll leave a link for them in the description so you can go check out what they have to offer. If you're new to the channel, I upload videos every week covering indoor and outdoor grows, solventless extractions, products and equipment. If that's what you're into, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out when I upload a new video. Let's get into unboxing the Twister T6 trimmer. The packaging is very well done with thick cardboard and foam padding on all sides of the trimmer. The unit comes almost fully assembled, only having to add the hopper and exit piece. The unit is pretty compact with a weight of 42 pounds. The design makes it very easy to set up anywhere. After removing the extra cardboard that's holding the control box in place, we'll need to take off the top cover so we can install the hopper and the exit piece. Both pieces are easily installed by clipping onto the side of the trimmer, holding on by three points. Once those two pieces are installed, the cover can be put back onto the trimmer. Once the unit is plugged into the power outlet, the unit is ready to start trimming. If you're looking to speed the trimming process up, the Twister T6 is capable of attaching another unit to itself so you would have two units back to back, doubling the output. On the exit side of the trimmer, there is a lock at the bottom that allows you to hold the second unit together. Then on the fill side, there is a height adjustable foot. This allows the trimmer to be set at a different angle. The steeper the angle, the faster the bud will be trimmed, but won't be as close. The lower the angle will result in a slower trim speed, but will be a much closer trim at the end. Now that we've covered the unboxing and setup, let's fully disassemble the trimmer. This is very important because the trimmer does get dirty pretty fast since there there's so much material flowing through it in a short amount of time. It's recommended to clean the blades and tumbler every couple hours of use and at the end of every session. Disassembling the unit is very straightforward. This was my first time doing it, which went pretty smoothly. They designed the Twister T6 very well, and I feel like after doing it a few times, the unit could be cleaned and put back together in a short amount of time, resulting in a little downtime for cleaning while running it for a harvest session. As you can see, I fully disassembled the unit. I don't think you would need to take it fully apart like this for a mid-session cleanup. I'd recommend doing this at the end of a session so you could fully clean it and bring it back to spotless. This is my first experience with an auto trimmer. Up to this point, I've always hand trimmed and used a bull style spin trimmer. The bull trimmer definitely sped things up when having to do larger amounts alone, but I found it didn't do the greatest job. Overall, the design and build quality of the Twister T6 is amazing and can't wait to use it on my upcoming outdoor grow. If you haven't seen that grow series, you can click on the top right corner to check that playlist out. Let's get into unboxing and assembling the leaf collector. Just like the trimmer, the packaging was great and everything is protected. The motor is pretty heavy and feels like it's good quality. When I started to assemble the mount and swivel wheels is where I started to see the quality drop pretty fast. 
At a price point of nearly $3,700 US, something so simple as hardware to put it all together is lacking. One of the bolts provided to attach the motor to the mount had a rounded head and the threads were only halfway down that bolt. Then when I went to attach the swivel wheel, one of the wheels had the threads damaged, so I wasn't able to put the nut more than halfway down. The leaf collector comes with two small wrenches, which are pretty much useless. They are oversized for the hardware, and once you get the hardware tight, the wrenches just slip off. Other than those small issues, the unit feels strong and looks great. I got frustrated with the hardware situation and didn't fully assemble the leaf collector as I needed to go to the store to get a new bolt along with a top to fix the one wheel. Don't forget if you're enjoying the video or found it at all helpful, hit that like button. It really goes a long way in helping the channel grow.